Hi guys, I want to talk about the Revlon uh, Photo Ready Airbrush Foundation. It's a mousse foundation. I have the shade Natural Beige. Um, I don't know what I was expecting. I'm just putting a little bit on here. Um, from the, I didn't know that it was mousse, first of all. I don't know why, I just assumed since it's an airbrush that it was going to be kind of like a, you know, spray all over your face kind of a deal. It wasn't. Um, when I put it onto my little makeup pad, imagine my surprise, my little sponge, and it was like, like gross, like a dollop of yucky. I don't know. Anyway, I've worn it for about 12 hours now, and I wanted to make sure I actually tested it out before I, you know, gave a review on it. Um, and I'm just putting it on now with my preferred method. Sorry, I always have to check on the puppy. She was crunching away on something, but it was one of her toys, so. Shame on me for doubting her. But um, I would say it's it applies, sorry, it applies really nicely, and I feel like when I put it on, I feel like, oh yeah, this is good. Um, it might not be great for oily skin, but it's a little shiny on me and I'm dry, but what I will say is that after maybe six hours or so, I wasn't real impressed. Um, I was kind of wondering like, oh, is this it? Sorry, one second. Good. I wanted to make sure it was recording. <laughs> um, but like right now, I feel like it's kind of a stunning finish. Like I'm like, ooh, yeah. I don't know if you can tell. Don't mind the, the 12 hour old eye makeup. But um, the second product I wanted to review is from the same line. It's actually the Revlon Rouge, Rouge Saint Flushed. It's a cream blush. Looks like in a little pot. And I thought that this was gonna be super bright. Like I was kind of worried, honestly. I was like, oh great, this is gonna be like so hot pink when it, it like arrived from Walgreens. And um, I'm using a Elf uh, small stipple brush. I'm just kind of tapping it in there. But I was surprised at how well this blends out. Like, if I just put my finger in it, I mean, it's bright pink. And then I put it on my hand. I mean, it's hot pink, right? But as you blend at it, it gives you a really nice glow. It's not, it's not too much, believe it or not. So I'll just give you a little look. I mean, it actually, the finish of this cream feels more like a mousse or something. And since I have dry skin, I don't feel like I get that um, really dry, like powdery, ashy look because it's a cream. It, um, I feel like it's really pretty. I will say about both the powder, uh, the foundation and the blush though, I don't feel like they lasted that long. Like, I feel like by four hours in, they weren't on my face anymore. Maybe six hours, but I have dry skin and I set it, I used a primer a setting spray and a powder on top. So you'd think that would kind of like lock everything in, right? No, uh, I don't feel like it really did. But um, they do have other shades in this line. So if you're thinking, whoa, that is way too hot pink for me. Um, they do have other shades. And you can go over it like I did. I went over with powder this morning. So it kind of sets the cream, but it feels really good on the face. Like I don't feel like I'm wearing any makeup. It's really light. Um, the mousse finish is great. Have I talked about this e.l.f. small stipple brush? It's amazing. Like, I just ordered the large stipple brush, or like the normal sized one from e.l.f. It's supposed to be here, I think tomorrow or Monday or something, but um, I'm really loving those. And I've been uh, getting on a cream blush kick, so I have a few more in the mail. One from e.l.f. and one from NYX. So we'll kind of see how, how I like this cream blush thing, because I've heard a lot about it, like powders not being that great for dry skin. You know, you don't want to put powder on powder on powder on powder. So rather than doing all of that, I thought, oh, I'll switch up and do some of my cream products. I've also heard that cream products are good to layer. So if you put a cream blush down and then you put a powder blush on top, you actually get a longer finish, a uh, longer lasting blush, and it won't disappear as fast because it has something to cling to. I don't know if I'm willing to spend a lot of money for it, but I will go over what these cost. This was the Revlon Photo Airbrush Mousse Foundation, and it was... Um, $15, $14 at Walgreens, and they had buy one get one 50% off for Revlon, so this was like $6.50. So I think normally you could pick both of these up for about 
$23, $24. So it's kind of pricey for the drugstore, but still nowhere near what I would have spent at MAC. So I will say that I'm pleased with the outcome. Like if I feel photo like airbrush, like I feel like it gave like a really nice um, kind of finish, but I don't feel like it's the best longest lasting and it might not be good for oily skin because I don't feel like, I feel like I'm a little shiny. Maybe it's not coming across on the camera, but I feel a little shiny, especially in the nose, the T-zone. And I'm not normally shiny, so it's like it added a shine to me. Anyway, I hope that helps, guys. If you have any questions about these products or other products like this, maybe you have your favorite mousse foundation, and I'm just, like, new to this. I know that CoverGirl has, like, a Dream Mousse, or is that Maybelline? CoverGirl, I think. Dream Mousse, and I've never used a mousse or cream blush before, so let me know some of your favorites. I love to try them out. Thanks, guys. Bye.